We are going. British. It's British. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 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 Cool. We're going to um the, the Royal Observatory. We're going to the Royal Observatory to see a planetarium show and learn about space. We don't know anything about space. Do we? No. So that's why we're going. Oh, and it's got this tight thing. It's quite. I just want to be so see. Good. Uh, so, we learn things like um, Venus, even though it's further away from the sun, Mercury's closer, it's hotter. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. So, there were, everyone in our class is watching. Uh, the things so so good. Like the stars, planets, and blood loads. Just over there. Planetarium show. It was very dark at the start, but then it took a while to get. But then, when it was dark, it took a while to get used to. And when you got used to it, you could see everyone next to you. And on the roof, it was like then you was in the cinema, but you were, you're learning. This average yellow star on the spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy is a star that the Romans named Sol. We call it the Sun. Welcome to our solar system. This is a very, 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 very old meteorite. It says up there, this is the oldest object we have ever seen. It's about 4.5 billion. That's four. I can't even say it. Four. Four. Four thousand five hundred billion. Basically, yeah, and years old. And that is that is so old. We have now learned how to read this number. Four billion four and five hundred million. This is when we're learning about the, all the planets orbiting the sun. Mercury travels around the sun at the fastest speed of 180,000 kilometers per hour. As the, as the planets get further away, the number decreases. Planets can travel all the way around the sun, weren't we? Yeah, it's not traveling, it's called orbit. Um, so in the centre there was Mercury, which was going really fast because Venus, it was closer towards the sun. And then Venus. it was Venus, which was going a bit, bit, bit slower. Faster than Mercury. A bit slower. Yeah. Um, and then it all went through all the different stages until it came to Neptune, which was going so slowly. If you saw Freddy, you showed Freddy up. He was like, that's what it was like. But the reason why we didn't do Pluto is because Pluto is a dwarf planet. planet. So guys, what what's the slowest planet? Slowest miles an hour? Um, it's Neptune. So what we're learning about is the um, Earth and the Moon orbiting the Sun. So at the moment, the person who's orbiting the Moon, which is me, is the Earth, and going around them is the Moon. And the moon is always showing the light side and it can't show the dark side. 
Hi guys, and we're just preparing for our planetarium show. If you remember, we went to Quinnick, we've all been inspired by that. So we're trying to do an, and make an outcome to do for, for our own. Yeah, and we're showing it to year four as well. We, we, we've been practicing for about four weeks now. Three, Three or four weeks. Yeah. And we're really nervous because we've only like, we've only read the scripts like, Two times, and yeah. but but we're also really excited, aren't we? Yeah, we're really excited. Wait, so, let's go, guys! So, but don't be afraid because we're also going to show you some of it. Um, our teacher is going to be filming a little bit so you can understand, and then afterwards we might ask some of the year four. I was amazed by by all the pictures on the, on the ceiling that every every single person got to say a what a fact and that was amazing one of my most favorite facts in in the planetarium show was that there was going to be a tenth planet but one of the other planets wouldn't let it because of the oxygen on the planet. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.